We are looking at motivation in terms of self-determination theory, self-determination. You are able to control your environment in order to achieve the desired goal or outcome. That is self-determination. Self-determination theory says that humans are driven to achieve three states, competence, autonomy, and relatedness. That is a theory of human motivation. We'll look at each one of these. Competence. You're driven or motivated by the need to be successful, to be seen as capable. All human beings naturally want to be able to achieve things and be seen as competent, to do a good job. If they are constantly experiencing school-related failure, will they students will often seek out non-school things in which to be uh, uh, successful or confident in order to e avoid emotional damage. They want to be good at things, so they'll be good at things like auto mechanics or sports or computers, something outside of school. It could be things that are maybe not so positive. They could seek to be good at maybe drinking or alcohol or drugs or something that is not positive. But there is this human need to be competent, to be successful at something. We have to help students feel competent in something. Sometimes the only thing students learn in school is they learn to fail and they learn that they are failures. That's our fault. Autonomy. Human beings naturally want to make choices to control their environment. They need someone to say, you choose, you decide. Teachers need this as well. They need this autonomy. By the way, teachers need to feel competent instead of being beat up all the time. Autonomy. The need to make choices to control one's environment. And we seem to take all of this out, and I've talked about it before, students need to be able to make choices. That does not mean total choice all the time, but neither does it mean no choices anytime. There is this continuum of choices as a classroom teacher. There is a continuum between chaos and control. Nobody loves chaos in a classroom. No one likes control. So you look to create structure within this continuum. Depending on the class, depending on the students, some need more control, less choice. Some need less choice, more. You get the idea. That structure continually moves. I find this with my college students as well, with my undergraduate students. Some classes need a little bit more control, less choice. Some need a little less uh, control and more choice. But no class ever likes chaos where they decide all the time or control where they never decide any of the time. And then students are motivated, need to act by relatedness, the need to feel connected with other human beings, to have friends um, who care about you, to connect with other human beings. And I used to see this when I was on the playground as a second grade teacher supervising the playground all the time. These three things, the competence, you can do a good job. Watch me, look what I can do. Autonomy, you're not the boss of me. Do we have to? And relatedness, do you want to play? Can I play with you? All human beings have this natural drive to feel competent. They can do something. Autonomy, control over your environment, and relatedness, to have friends to play with, to feel loved or cared about. Motivation, self-determination theory.